Hi everybody, welcome to my big tidy up. My name is Dee Dee. Thanks for checking out my channel today. Now right now I'm coming to you from my garage, but don't worry, we won't be here long because we are getting ready to load up and head out because today's video is a my big tidy up on the go. And you might be wondering, well, where are you going, Dee Dee? Well, I'm going to an apartment. Now, we all love to have our spaces nice and neat and organized and aesthetically pleasing, and those are the same goals we're gonna have today, but we do have some additional goals today that we'll be working with because our resident has some needs that we're gonna need to meet. We need to have things easily accessible where she can find everything she needs and we're gonna to have to do it in a smaller space. I appreciate you guys joining me today. I'm so excited for this video. So let's load up, buckle up, and let's go get her tidy. Honey, I'm home. Now here's the plan for today. I'm gonna to be decluttering and organizing a couple of problem areas in this kitchen and try to make it a more functional space. I'll be tackling this bookcase area. It serves a lot of purposes here in the kitchen, so it definitely needs to stay. I'm just gonna to try to organize it in a different way. I'm also gonna be decluttering and organizing underneath this kitchen sink to make everything neat and tidy and make the supplies more accessible. As I mentioned earlier, as I'm organizing these areas today, there are gonna be some additional factors that are gonna go in on how I set everything up. Because our resident, she is restricted in her ability to bend forward all the way due to some back issues. So any items that I place below her waist, I'm gonna to need to make sure they're lighter weight and they're able to be slid out or retrieved with a mechanical grabber. Well, I have everything out from underneath the sink, so I just need to go through it all because I'm definitely seeing a lot of duplicates. And you know, I'm thinking I'll be able to fit one of these slidable stack trays in here, but I'll probably use the square totes underneath the garbage disposal area where there's limited room. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't overfill the totes and make them too heavy. And I need to make sure I have the handle cut out facing forward so it can be grabbed with the mechanical grabber. Yes, I know there's nothing in the totes and there'll be nothing on the tray, but I just wanted to try and make sure that everything fit before I loaded the totes and loaded the tray. I was 99% sure that they would fit, but it's that 1% that always gets me in trouble if I don't check ahead of time. As I was sorting, we started joking saying, hey, it's like Christmas around here because she was finding things she didn't realize or remembered that she had. But when you can't access all of your items or they get pushed to the back, you do forget about them. And you know, I've been where I've tucked things away or something got pushed to the back and then I found them later and I was like, oh, 
I forgot I had that. So I definitely get how that can happen. Since she does all of her dishes by hand, the dishwasher soap will go in the back tote since it'll rarely be used. Well, under the sink has been decluttered and we've got one container of items that need relocated, reusable containers for future projects, and two containers of throwaway. Next up, the shelving area. Now all of these items here on the shelves do serve a purpose and they do need to stay here. There are six large storage baskets and four out of the six just need to be organized in a new way. Now this area over here to the side, it does serve a purpose. So I am gonna to try to revamp it in a creative way. So here's my game plan. Since I have limited workspace, I'm just gonna tackle two shelves at a time and each shelf will be its own zone. Now I was told that if I needed to use the very top shelf for extra storage, I could move the decor pieces in the air fryer, but I don't wanna do that unless I absolutely have to because the scale is gorgeous and it definitely needs to be seen. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling, you tore down my wall. Wish I could go back to right before you told me I try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know. Now this basket is just filled with tape and batteries, and I have a feeling there are a lot of batteries at the bottom of this basket because it really is quite heavy. But I'm gonna try some smaller baskets and try to keep the tape separate from the batteries. So if she needs something, she can just grab a smaller basket out of this larger one that really is quite heavy. And looky here, what do I find under a massive pile of batteries? Why, a battery organizer, of course.
strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way, like strangers again. Now this shelf is what I like to call her correspondence shelf. Now the basket on the left, she's already organized it. It's full of mailers, labels, packing materials, stamps, etc. I'll be tackling this big basket on the right and it is full of all kinds of cards and envelopes and it does need to go on the same shelf as this basket on the left. Now I did bring this standing file from home and I'm hoping that that will help me organize her envelopes and that I can set it down inside the basket. I don't know if it's gonna work because I have different size envelopes, but we're gonna give it a try. Such a magic feeling you tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now. Could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now This is who we are And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again just know things will never be the same like strangers again like strangers again I thought we'd never fall Could have tried much harder Now all we have are scars You said we'd get so high Well, Houston, we have a problem. Now, I do love the idea of the files separating all of the envelopes, but I can already tell I'm going to have to modify it just a little bit because the smaller envelopes, they're going to fall through to the bottom. So I think I'm going to try to add some little baskets in between the dividers to keep the smaller envelopes from falling through. Yep, that's the ticket. Now, before I tackle all of these plastic tote bags on the bottom shelf, I do want to do this little area first because some of those tote bags will be coming over here anyway. Now, right now, this area is filled with baskets and empty boxes. And it's not just because she loves to keep empty boxes, but because anything lower than the green basket to the left is going to be very hard to access, especially if it's heavy. And the boxes and basket, well, they're just really a makeshift platform, as you can see, to keep her soda pop or anything else from going lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move something in here that's lightweight. It's sturdy, but it is lightweight. So she doesn't have to worry about her soda pop or anything else she may sit down toppling over. And it's going to double as storage for her large assortment of tote bags. She doesn't use them all, all the time, but she still wants to keep them. Is it going to be cosmetically beautiful? Um, no, probably not. But it is going to solve a problem. Now. 
and the solution is a styrofoam cooler. It gives her the desired height, it doubles as storage, it's lightweight, it can be slid with her mechanical grabber if she ever wants to move it, and you know, it can be covered with a pretty piece of material or a towel, so I think it's a great solution. And you know, sometimes you have to think outside the box, even if it is a styrofoam box. Thanks for going on the road with me today, friends. Please take care of yourself, and until I see you in the next one, stay tidy.